Young, rich and looking for love. It's the perfect combination for <laughs> any single girl. Yeah, from Jared Butler to Chase Crawford, Hollywood is full of those big-time bachelor types. They drive fast cars and they date A-list stars. These guys sort of seem to have it all, except true love. And they're both blushing right now. Well, there is some good news. Australia has its own rich and eligible bachelors. This week, business magazine BRW published its latest young rich list. Topping the ranks are Ruslan Kogan and Dory Cordahi, and they join us now. Oh, good morning you go. to morning, you boys. both. Now, you're both self-made multi-millionaires. Ruslan, let's start with you. You're 27. You're worth more than $30 million. Congratulations. Thank you. How did you make your money? Well, it all started in my parents' garage. I had no money at all, and I started an online business, kogan.com.au, and it's all about selling consumer electronics to smart shoppers like LCD TVs, GPSs, Blu-ray players, digital photo frames, and, yeah, all sold online and saves people money. And it's cheaper than we can find it out there in the shopping centres? Yeah, it's definitely. Stuff. Now, it's assumed that a young bachelor like yourself got the fast cars, the jets, the yachts, the whole... Is it as glamorous as we like to think, or as Hollywood sets it up to be? Well, look, it's definitely got its perks. You get to travel around the world, all sorts of different cities. Um, you know, you get to see the world. But uh, along with that, you know, it sometimes gets a bit tiring living out of a suitcase, checking in and out of hotels and being at different airports all the time. So, um, yeah, it's definitely got its perks, but downsides as well. This is Andrew O'Keefe's yacht there on the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, now, Russell, you have some pretty high-flying friends. Um, your mates with Richard Branson. You're doing a... Uh, a Virgin Atlantic, uh, not a Virgin Atlantic, a, a tr what is it <laughs> called? Virgin Galactic yeah. um, tr trip into space. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, it's very exciting. Um, you know, Virgin's a great brand. They go into markets and they innovate when no one's been able to innovate before and they make things better for everyone now. Um, Virgin Galactic sending people out into space. So it was very exciting. So I booked myself onto that. And, you know, it's very in line with, you know, it's a business that I respect and it's what Kogan does. We launched our home appliances recently and it's innovating in a new marketplace where people haven't been able to get value before. Okay, Zora, you, you also made the BRW cut. Congratulations. Yeah, thank that you. worth a, a lazy 19 mil, I think I read there somewhere. <laughs> now, you started as an apprentice hairdresser. I so, did. So how do you get to here? What, what, what is the secret to success? We all need to know. Um, a lot of hard work, I guess. Um, you know, I started as an apprentice hairdresser. I failed my HSC. Don't have a marketing degree. Uh, sort of fell into the family business with my dad and uh, worked as, a, um, as my fellow mate here. We uh, worked out of my parents' backyard shed and um, just a lot of hard work, dedication, keeping it simple and just, you know, following the basics in business. Isn't that amazing? So you've, you didn't pass your HSC and yet no. you can still go on and create these empires. What, you, you know... Yeah, for me, it's all, I'm a firm believer, keep it simple and just apply the basics in business. The rules round. Any turns, don't try to change it. Um, and I think a lot of people try to complicate business. And for me, it was just focusing on building a good customer base, you know, servicing your clients, uh, reducing your overheads, and just increasing your profits. And then from there, you can start growing your business. So. Mm. And do you treat yourself? I mean, is, it, is there... A, please tell us there's the glamorous lifestyle. You must own a Porsche or something. Uh, something yeah. <laughs> you must own a like this guy. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's uh, going... Up outside space, you know, the closest I'm going to get to that is uh, parachuting out of a plane. So <laughs> I might, I might take my risk, but um, yeah, look, you know, you got to treat yourself to a few good things. But it's all about, you know, keeping humble and just sort of keeping to the ground, from my end. Mm. Oh, so. guys, uh, good to meet you both. Continued success, of course. Thank and you. Think of all the things you're going to be able to do with those frequent fly points when you go to space. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> awesome. Thank you, boys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.